For starters, I want to say, guys, I'm not obviously reacting to the person whose video this is, but this is the only video that I could find that had the audio in it. I'm not on any of the platforms where Amberlynn's stuff normally surfaces, so I don't have access to it, but I wanted to make note of this. This, chan this video that I'm using is Karina Kaboom's video, so go on over to subscribe to her. I'll put a link in to this video in the description so that you guys can go over there Check her out and subscribe to her. Beast of the East, you asked why I, you asked a couple months ago why I go after Amber Lynn, and you asked why I go after Foodie Beauty. It's because they do things like this. They are they they're they're like this. This is the kind of people they are. Beast of the East, watch this whole video and you'll understand. How once have you thanked me personally for the money I was going to give you? For the video. Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be talking now, about mind, the voice. Mind. The things that she is saying, she's saying to a woman who is dying of cancer and had just gotten out of surgery. Notes between Amberlynn Reed and her mother in law, Becky's mother. Now, Becky's mother is no longer with us, and the way that I'm going to do this video is that I am going to cut out of this video what Becky's mom said to Amber just out of respect for Becky's family as well as the person that released this so in my opinion it seems like Becky's mother's friend got forwarded these messages from Amber Lynn that Amber sent to Becky's mom so Becky's mom probably forwarded them to her friend got this off of Twitter it was released I believe in some kind of a group on Facebook okay so basically the context here is is that Amber Lynn created a video for a GoFundMe, and in my opinion, it was a scam. Amber Lynn's audience... We all thought that video was a scam. Every single one of us. It's raised $4,000 in September of 2019, somewhere around there, uh, basically for Becky's mom, who was, you know, fighting a losing battle. And it was long disputed whether or not the family even got the money. Well... We have an answer as to what happened. And I have been really trying for a while. I've been sitting here. I've been trying to think, how am I going to present this video? I try to be fair in my videos. I've been very kind to Amber. I try to give her compliments when I can. And usually the way I make my drama videos is I try to see both sides. But in this case, I'm totally not on Amber Lynn's side. The way that she treated this woman is, in my opinion, very rude and uh, just disgusting and rude, in my opinion. So um, everything, all my commentary is exactly that. I'm going to be sharing my commentary, what I think and how I feel my own opinions here, not facts. Please do not leave anyone mention any mean-spirited, negative, discouraging comments. Um, if you are interested in following me on social media, my links to social media will be down below. Let me just play you the full audio. I'm tired of not being appreciated when I try to help you the best that I can. And it's just frustrating. I am not trying to argue with you. That is the last thing I want to do since you just got out of surgery. I don't want to cause any more stress onto you, onto Becky, onto anyone in your family, onto myself, because that's just not going to... Who cares? ...fix anything. I am just tired of the added drama onto my YouTube. And... <laughs> the drama that you bring to yourself and i'm tired of not being appreciated when i try to help you the best that i can and it's just frustrating this whole situation is super frustrating and i finally just kind of wanted to speak upon the situation a lot of your comments when we were facebook friends i have left comments on your facebook regarding your cancer I have asked how you're doing. I have been there in that sense. And, you know, we don't have to really go down the line of, oh, you didn't message me, you didn't message me, because I can say the same about you. Where not one. We don't have to really go down the line, but I'm going to bring it up about you. Amber, you're. <laughs> <laughs> you 
your medical problems are shit that you brought on yourself. Becky's mom didn't go get cancer for herself. I don't believe she didn't do anything to deserve, not to deserve, but to earn that cancer. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Not that I know of anyway. I don't know if she had any high risk behavior that was, you know, could cause cancer, whatever. The difference is, is most people don't go seeking that out. You, you know good and damn well, you're the last person that should be, oh, well, you didn't ask me how I was doing. Amber, you, not just with your weight, but with everything, you bring your own issues to yourself. You bring your own issues, so you can't cause a bunch of problems for yourself and then tell everyone around you, you, you never, you never, uh, Ask me how I was doing, you unappreciative bitch. Yeah, now, like, that, this is so fucking rude. This is so fucking rude and out of line what you did. Are you kidding me? I can't believe you. Have you thanked me personally for the money I was going to give you for the video I made? Thank you personally for the money you were going to give her? How about you give it first and then maybe expect a thank you? And by the way, maybe you shouldn't do shit for people expecting something in return. Even if she had never said thank you, maybe you could just do a good fucking deed without having to be looked at as a fucking hero, you fucking whale. I hate you. For sticking up for you. Not once did you say sorry for any of the things that you have brought to my channel. That is in a negative light. You bring the negativity to, to yourself. Anybody who sits there for longer than the period of five to six months, which it takes you to complete a fucking cycle, knows you bring this shit to yourself. I don't want to hear it. You, you're, like, you are not allowed. Or you shouldn't have been allowed. And I don't understand. And Becky... Why are you letting her talk to your mother like this when her, mo her mother was in her last day? Your mother was in her last days. Why are you letting her... You fuck you too. G listen, somebody even has a nerve. I had an ex one time that, that spoke to my mom in the way... In the way that Amber's speaking to your mom. And you know what happened to her? She became a fucking ex. You ain't about to sit there and, tra and trash my mom. Like, me and my mom get into arguments. We don't always have the best relationship. You know, I'm not the best son sometimes. You know, I love my mom to death. I do wrong sometimes. She does wrong sometimes. We don't always see eye to eye. But let me tell you something, man. I will go to the fucking mat with anyone who decides they want to talk to her like this. I don't fucking think so. You you talk to my mom like this, especially if she's on her deathbed. I'm going to, listen. Sorry, mom. I ain't making it to your funeral because I'm going to commit fucking murder tonight. And I'm going to kill this bitch. You, how dare you fucking talk to her like that? How dare you talk to... Oh my god. So the best part is, didn't Amber say in her new video that she was on a vacation right now with Becky's family celebrating Becky's mom? Well, we see how you celebrated her when she was here. So in my opinion, how does Amber not understand that... A woman who just got out of surgery, who is Becky's mom and sick, not thanking Amber Lynn for some video that she did, that she later took down, is not the same thing as Amber Lynn not checking in on mom, right? She's trying to go tit for tat. She's trying to retaliate. It's not the same thing. A person out of surgery needs to be in peace, not wondering whether narcissist Amber Lynn Reed is happy with her. Like... That whole voice note, in my personal opinion, my thoughts on it, it screams of self-serving, narcissist, and incredibly inauthentic, in my opinion, when Amber says, oh, but I commented on your Facebook and I asked you how you are. In my opinion, you can hear it in her voice. She doesn't mean it. It's like, who says, oh, I asked you how you were. If somebody who is that ill, like saying that you don't even check in on me, why would they lie? Self-serving narcissist. That is who Amber is in these voice notes. I mean, it's That's all... More than who Amber, That's more than who Amber is in these voice notes. 
homie, that's who Amber is. You just made, sh oh my god, I say all the time, Chantel makes Amber look like a saint. No, I, you look, you caught me by surprise with this one. You caught me by surprise with this one. You're making Chantel Marie look like a fucking Sunday school teacher. You fucking bitch. About me, me, me. My YouTube channel is suffering. Who cares about your YouTube channel? Yes, People yes. only subscribe to see your your drama and your trolling. Okay, so Amber Lynn is tired of not being appreciated when all she tried to do was help Becky's mom. Then maybe, then maybe, and that's true, Karina. Karina, I agree that that's what, that's what you're getting out of this, and I agree with that, but maybe Amber Lynn should not have fucking done anything expecting a thank you or anything else in return. Maybe she should have just lifted her fat fucking fingers to, 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 to actually do a good deed and not worry about how she's going to look like it. Because if you do something to help somebody and then you have to announce to the world that you help somebody, what were your real motives? Oh my god, I'm so, I am so pissed right now. Like... Um, oh my god. Um, now the context to this is when Amber did the GoFundMe, her viewers donated and somebody from Becky's, well, somebody's from the camp of Becky, went around wishing cancer on the supporters that donated. So there was a lot of drama. Amber was accused of, you know, doing a scam. And it is a scam in my personal opinion. But how rude and absolutely how come you are so a despectful to actually say this to an adult to her caretakers and girlfriend's mother when she just had surgery y'all heard that right the woman just had surgery and this is what amber is telling her in my personal opinion, the way that Amber treated her mother-in-law, Becky's mother, wasn't just disrespectful and awful, in my opinion, but it was low. It's low even for Amber standards. Just look at the way that she spoke to her. She speaks down to her. Not once have you ever thanked me personally and I'm tired of the drama that you're bringing to me and I'm tired of the negativity that you're bringing to me where would Amber be where would this girl be without Becky you know I'm just gonna say what I really feel my raw and honest feelings here I've been thinking this for a while now's a good time to say it as good as any now that it's been revealed that all the rumors are true and Amber Lynn was very mean to Becky's mother well I personally think that Amber's happy that mom's not around. Happy. I agree with you. I agree with you. I'm going to have some thoughts in this video, but I'm going to let Karina voice what she has to say. After all, it is her video I'm reacting to. That Becky's not around Ricky and Eric. I think she's always wanted Becky to herself. Of course, I do not mean that Amber, you know, wished that upon her. But you get my... I wouldn't, go, but I wouldn't go past that. I wouldn't go past that. Amber is the type of person that would wish it on someone. I wouldn't go past that. We see how she treated her right at right after the surgery. Amber wouldn't have given a shit. Amber never did give a shit. She doesn't give a shit. She would be the type of person to wish it on somebody. I dripped. I think she probably did want it to happen. Abusers are typically like that, which is a, essentially what Amber is. If you look at her behaviors, she's an abuser and she's an addict. I grew up. Getting to know those two kind of people really fucking well. Really fucking well. And I gotta tell you, she's both of them. That Becky is a sweet girl that may not have known the ways of the world. And I think that Amber manipulated her with a few, a few magazines, no, no, you know. No, 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 no. I agree that maybe Becky used to be a sweet girl that doesn't know the ways of the world. She's not that anymore. She knows good and damn well who Amber Lynn is. She probably knew, and I, I don't, I believe she knew good and damn well about them fucking voice messages. And let me tell you something. You, let me, like I said before, you speak to my mom like that. On her deathbed or not. We gonna have some problems. I don't care who it is. Man, woman, obviously child, no. But man, woman, adult, I don't care. You speak to my mom like that. We're gonna we're we're fixing to have some real big fucking problems, especially if she's on her deathbed. Especially if she's on her deathbed. I mean, 
obviously, if she's not sick with something and she does something wrong and someone speaks to her in a little bit of an aggressive manner, that's one thing. But for her to, but if she was in Becky's mom's situation, I should say, had just had surgery, she's sick, she's fighting for her life, and you and you talk to her like that, we're gonna. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. A few Walmart t-shirts and a PS4 and a new iPhone 12, and here's the relationship that makes it. Okay, I think that Amberlynn is thrilled that she got Becky all to herself. You can see the difference in the way that Amber presents herself. Look, quite frankly, she was way more miserable in the old house where she had to share Becky with mom. She had to share Becky with Ricky and Eric. I think that the way that Amber treated this woman, whether this woman didn't thank her personally or not is despectful hey okay first of all without Becky where would Amber be and honestly you should respect your elders and you should not behave in such a despectful way that was the last time I made that dumb joke but what I, I don't know about the respect your elders thing because sometimes people that are elderly take advantage of that and they come at people real disrespectfully so instead of respect your elders, people should respect each other. What do y'all think? You think she's despectful? I think she is. So she was tired of being not appreciated for making that GoFundMe video. She then said that she was tired of the added drama to her YouTube channel. Have some respect, Amber. Okay, so when somebody is um, losing their battle, you want to be as kind to them as possible. No amount of being disliked on YouTube and... No amount of, like, drama that Amber got to her channel could ever compete with a person being taken from their family. And Amber made the whole thing about herself and YouTube drama that she created herself. Amber then goes on to say, not once did you say sorry for the negativity you brought to my channel. How outrageous. And you expect her Becky's mom to say sorry for the negativity that she supposedly brought to Amber's channel. You guys, do you know who brings negativity to Amber's channel? Amber. I was just going to say Amber. She's the one that docs to urologist. She's the one that abuses Twinkie, doesn't cut her nails. Brings all the negativity to Amber's channel is Amber, not a sick woman. I am. On what about she's the one who has false, who pressed false rape allegations against her ex? Oh, and, and false abuse allegations against her ex, right? What about, what about the, and don't get me wrong, Destiny was not right in this either, but what about her dragging Destiny through the mud, okay? Um, <clears throat> what about all the shady shit that she's done, <coughs> both prior and post anything she's ever done? <coughs> I gotta admit, this is a new low. This is not something I expected. Honestly, you guys, I, I, I can't even believe this. There's nothing that I can even say in Amber's defense. This is really, this is shameful. Honestly, I hope that at the very least, Amber Lynn is ashamed of herself for talking to a woman like this. Contact. ashamed of herself. She doesn't have any sort of self-respect or dignity or I don't even think awareness most of the time. Of course she's not ashamed of herself. She doesn't give a shit. She doesn't care to this is if you go to the original source that I've linked it down below in my description box basically Becky's mom like okay I guess she commented something so what on a Facebook she's allowed and Amber was saying don't comment anything and then she also Amber also later on accuses uh Becky's mom of spreading Amber's docs, which is personal information. And if you go to the original source, you'll hear Becky's mom say that Amber's friends spread Amber's private information online. And this is so ridiculous because Amber herself constantly says where she lives. Okay. So Amber goes on to say that Becky's mom needs to stop commenting about the situation and that Amber has done so much for Becky's mom. It's like a pat on the back, like listing all the things you do. This Look, Amber's mother, so she could have commented on the situation as many damn times as she wanted to because the situation had to do with her. You don't get to tell people not to talk about their own personal business. There's this rule of thumb. If you have to say that you're a good person, you're probably not a good person. And then this disrespectful girl, Amber, has enough balls to say, 
Oh, you didn't once message me. You didn't once say sorry, Becky's mom, about like the money that I was going to give you. Let's play that one more time. Okay, so you hear that she never actually did end up giving her the money from the GoFundMe, in my opinion. Let's play that one more time. Not once have you thanked me personally for the money I was going to give you. Okay, the money that I was going to give you. Why are you so ungrateful? Is this voice note, it highly implies that Amber kept the money. That's my personal opinion. I Amber did keep the money. We all knew it. 100% we all knew it. As soon as... as <laughs> so not only did she not give the money to who it was intended to go to, she stole from her subscribers. Just saying. I feel that Amber probably kept the money. Opinion, not a fact. But I believe that Amber did keep the money. Crying and sad in the car, saying like, oh, you know, I'm so sad we're picking out a headstone. Why weren't you just nice to her when she was alive? Also, just the way that Amber speaks, I want you to notice her tone. I've always said this. Amber is one person to her subscribers, speaks in a certain tone. And on social media, you notice how her Instagram lives always get her in trouble? Like one time she called Michael B. Petty, like a name saying that, you know, talking about his weight. Like she's always really rude on social media because that's who she really is. And it's a stark difference. She's like two different people on social media and on her channel. In my personal opinion, she's pretending on YouTube. And it's who she really is, which is quite mean-spirited and, like, not, not very nice in real life. Never, ever record yourself on a voice note. Mean, demeaning voice notes to Becky's mom, I guess. You never thought that Becky's mom was going to forward them to a friend. I could now see that all the rumors about Amber are true. Thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Uh, I, I'm even, I'm beyond words. I don't even know what to say. That's, uh, I Y'all have a good night, man. I'm fed up. I'm beyond words.